Hi guys, let's take a look at the energies for the week of September 11th. I feel that September is very pivotal. Did I say this last week? Pivotal, pivotal is the word that keeps coming to me for the month of September, maybe even into early October. Um, why I want to mention feast season, I don't know, but I also want to mention harvest season. Feast season, as in there's, um, I know for certain that there's some Jewish holy days coming up. And of course, we begin our harvest September, October. There's probably a harvest full moon coming up. I don't know if it's this month or next month, but those are the energies I'm feeling. Let's see what the spirit has to say. There's a card that I have to take for our center. Eight of spirals is the eight of wands. Um, so lots of energy and fast moving energy, which is interesting because if you watch the channel, we've been talking about time all over the place. So let's see what else comes out. The acrobat. I, I love it. It last week we had her come out. Um, it, it spoke to us about beginner's luck and how caveman, um, it was possible, even if we're dim-witted and spiritually unaware, it was possible to have beginner's luck. We could still succeed in the physical world, but we didn't have the spiritual knowledge that's going to be so important from now on. The psyche, which is the world, which is, we've been talking about the world card also. Okay. Okay. The queen of swords is in our past. The forefront of our mind is the freaking magician. Okay. The poet is the king of swords. That's in our near outcome. He was in our near outcome last week also. The king of swords. King Arthur, who's able to pull the sword out of the rock. The rock is the dead, death, gravestone rock. The ways of old earth, meaning spiritually dead. There's no animation in the stone. King Arthur pulls out the rigidness, the fierceness, the hunter, the war. He pulls out the sword. The sword is what was making the rock dead. All of a sudden, the rock splits open and there's living gemstones inside of the rock. Spirits, alive spirits inside of the rock. So let's see. <laughs> that is definitely you know, near outcome last week, near outcome this week. Very, very important to think about guys. Okay. So fast moving. The sun behind it is really sticking out to me. Um, so does, is the sun very active? Is the sun very active? I feel if it wasn't the previous week, it will be this week. I, I want to mention something. Oh, God. I, I don't know why the Spirit makes me do these things. Um, okay. This has many meanings on this channel, but I, I believe one of the meanings is an X-class solar flare. Okay. I just want to point that out. And I didn't even know what an X-class solar flare was, but I do believe I looked into it and it is the highest like type flare that we could have from the sun. Um, could be symbolic, you guys. Or it could be referencing something that we had from Gal Galactic Mother a couple of weeks ago. Get ready to be supercharged. By a bright light, a bright 
right? Something from above. Okay. So why, why, why do we have these energies pouring from the sun? I also see galactic center energies pouring from galactic center. First of all, because the earth is in like a perfect alignment of some sort with the galactic center. And so we're able to feel those energies directly. Um, sun, you guys, energy, when energy comes off the sun, it is feeding us information. Information is contained in energy. And so tons of energy then pouring out onto earth. Information, it's, the spirit said archaic. It's archaic. It's archaic information. Okay. And this is the picture that comes to mind. Arc, 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 arc. Information from the arc, right? Doesn't a solar flare have an, there's something about an arc in it? Okay. There's an arc here, um, meaning from the beginning. So information, ancient Archaic information, prime information, prime, meaning highest, best, pristine, prime information in these powerful energies that are pouring on to earth, okay? It, they speak a language. The information travels in waves. If you are sensitive to those frequencies, you're going to receive the messages that are coming out from that flare of energy from the sun, fiery dart of energy from the sun. Okay. Um, that's what I'm feeling this week. So maybe I should start watching the activity in the sun. We'll see. Um, hmm. Okay. There's an instinct here, an instinct that the deer knew the buck, the buck, the buck knew. Okay. So it's using your intuition, using your instinct, instinct. Um, that's, that's the language that communicates with these energies. Okay. The acrobat is, um, crossing or supporting. It's literally in the exact same position it was in last week. And it has the exact same meaning for me. If you are spiritually adept, you guys, spiritually adept, you're going to be able to slip through these energies, um, integrate with these energies, flow with these energies. You have become flexible. You have grown wings. You have this is the second word I'm getting this word. The second time I'm getting this word. It's tendon, tendons, ligaments, stretched your, you guys, ligaments are bonds, bands, bondage. You have stretched your binding. Okay. You are stretching your binding. This is, um, Okay. I'm getting a couple of ideas. I think it's strong force as in nuclear force that, that holds the nucleus together, the atom together. I, I think you're stretching that. And I also feel like there's this, um, collagen. We've talked about this before. Collagen elasticity. So who's feeding you collagen galactic center? Don't ask how it is. It's on my channel. It's she galactic center is mother. Let's, let's call her mother. God galaxy galactic center means milk. She, her milk is the milk of plants. When you break open the stem of a dandelion and you see the milky substance in there, it's contained in the plants. It, there's something here about collagen. This is, it also contains collagen. It's elasticity. She's stretching us. 
you know what I just saw? I, I have to tell you. Uh, it's when they bind the person. I think they used to bind each limb to horses. And then they would make the horses run in all four directions. Whoa. Have you been stretching? You guys, yes, I'm talking physical, but I am obviously talking spiritual, but I'm talking the mind. Yeah, because the Spirit just said mind-bending. Mind-bending. We've been talking about the four corners. This, this is what I'm seeing. Uh, expanding in all four directions. It's also four dimensions. We've been talking about the fourth dimension on the channel, which is time. You have just stretched, you guys, stretched ligaments, tendons, and these words mean more than you can imagine. Ligament means legal, as in legal limitations. You've just stretched beyond the border of law, meaning earthly rules, physics rules, physical physics rules are starting not to apply. We are superseding physics even, the mechanical physics. I'm not talking quantum. except the spirit just said quantum jumping. So I'm not sure, <laughs> but we are like the mechanical physics, literally. Wow. I hope you watch the channel because we're talking, now I'm recognizing we're talking about some of these concepts. It, it's our um, ability I keep getting visions. So here it is. It's we're stretching our neck guys to the finish line, winning the race, victory over death. Death shall be swallowed up in victory. I see you stretching your neck as a horse who's in the race running. Okay. You've just stretched your neck past the finish line. That's for the acro acrobats. And then woe to the monkeys, to the unevolved, unevolved spirits, unevolved minds, unstretched minds, minds that conform to the binding, the bondage of legal systems. Um, but tendons are tenets, tenets, principles, principles the principles of this world, we have definitely stretched our minds beyond the concepts, the principles that this world stands on, okay? We are thinking heavenly, um, solar system, galactic, Milky Way principles. That's what we're doing, okay? This is at our foundation. Um, she, she just said firefly. So the, the world firefly, um, chariots of fire, chariots of fire. I've never even seen the film. Is it about racing horse racing with chariots? I don't even know. I'm going to have to look it up. There's a movie. There's a song, Chariots of Fire. Chariots of Fire. Okay, Ezekiel is the only reference I have. Not Ezekiel. Elijah. Elijah. That's the only reference I have. <laughs> he was taken off to heaven. Um... 
out of this world? It's the world card, guys. Chariots of Fire, Elijah, the whole story that he didn't have to die on earth to be taken up to heaven. That's what we're experiencing right now. We beat the time clock. We made it to heaven before the physical body gave out. That's what we're talking about on the channel. That's at our foundation. We've always had the capacity. No, we haven't had the capacity. We've had the possibility, the potential. Potential. It's just now that we're learning how to wield that power. We're finally learning how to wield our power. Guys, a long time ago, we talked about how this godly awareness came into the monkey. Okay, it's just, you guys, it's symbolism. Came into the dumb man, came into the cave man, okay? And the, the, it, it went wrong. When the godly consciousness came into the monkey, he had no reference point. He was too unintelligent unrefined, so many things he had to go through in order to be able to work with that potential for good instead of for evil, for true power instead of malicious, warring, hunting, sword, power. Okay. You know what I'm seeing as the sword? I'm seeing his spine as the sword. So when man stood upright, he also became rigid, inflexible, sword for a spine. He became rigid. There was no softness, forgiveness, yielding. And so that he took that power and used it how he knew how with the sword, um, hunting and um, warring and killing. And of course, we've evolved a little bit from that, but not much. And of course, our tongue is a sword also. And so we always criticize, judge, cut down, slay people with our tongues also. So that's the stage we're at right now. Mostly, we've become a little bit civilized, okay? But I feel like now we're learning how to manage, wield that potential, wield that sword for a sort of truth that comes out of the mouth um, that has heart in it. Okay? He had to do a lot. Caveman had to do a lot of refining to get to this point. Okay. So that's the magician. He's becoming the magician. It, now that we're wielding the power correctly, there will be magic on earth. There will be miracles on earth. There will be chariots of fire on earth. I don't know what that means, but there will be. There will be. This is in our past position, um, the weaver. I saw, I just saw just now, the entire strand of yarn cut, cut by the sword. Cut by the sword. Oh yeah, we're getting a lesson. Here we go. Um, we could never see the full picture. We could never finish the tapestry. We could never finish the weave. We could never finish the freaking story because the sword kept cutting it. The sword kept cutting the story off before we reached the tail end. Before we reached the fairy tale ending.
she sees clearly. She sees clearly. She's, her head's above the clouds now, above the cloudiness, the fogginess of caveman. She has stretched her mind into the heavens, stretched her neck above the clouds into the heavens. She sees clearly now the entire weave, the entire story, the entire timeline, all of time, all of time. You see, when you get to the finish line, when you beat father time, when you beat the clock, when you reach heaven before you die in the physical body, you get to see the entire story from beginning to end, beginning to end. I love it. We're going to take a key card. I love this, you guys. Um, this, this to me is just the, the point that we're, I believe we're at here, okay, is the sword coming out of the rock and the rock cracking open and the living gemstones, jewels, and treasures coming out. Meaning that spine, that spine has opened its jewels, its energy centers, its crystalline structure. The spine has opened its crystalline structure. You've heard this foretold. It's here. It's, it's here. We're turning into gemstones. We were, um, I see what we were, rock. Um, I almost see concrete, I think. I see that's what uh, an aggregate of stone is what we were made of. And it was rock. They're all transmuting. Thank you, magician. They're transmuting into the gemstones that are hidden in that concrete rock spine. Transmuting, okay, from the rigidness to the beauty, the life inside the dead rock, the life inside the dead rock. That's where we are. That's where we are. I hope you're on the same train of thought. Oh, spirit. Okay. Okie dokie. Where are you calling to me? It's this one, I think. Self-focus. Boy, we, last week we got self-mastery. This week we're getting self-focus. If you focus out in the world, you will not see what I'm telling you. You will not see these concepts. You're not going to see them out there. You have to look within, inside, in the in, in, um, internal, eternal, infinite crystal ball. Crystal ball. Guys, hello. Shh. Okay, this, this is an eyeball. See the iris around the eyeball? Have your, has your eye been focused on the sun, which is in the center of this picture? Um, that's your crystal ball. That's your crystal ball. I, I also believe it's your pineal gland. Your, it's your third eye chakra. Okay, spirit is also saying crown, crown. Oh, um, crown has all the gemstones, all the jewels in it. Crown, head, head. It's just the head in its entirety and it contains two chakras in it. They're seen clearly now. If you've been looking with that eye, now you can wear the crown on your head. Now you can wear the crown on your head, King Arthur. Okay? <laughs> that, 
I'm just going to say it. Um, King Arthur has a very feminine side to him, and I feel like he's not afraid to king of swords, okay? Um, He's not afraid to show that. Authenticity. Okay? Um, There was something else about this. Oh, yeah, telomeres. Tail, telos, tail, telomere. So your DNA has an enzyme that helps to keep the strands, the the weave, the fibers of something guys, together. It's like a, you know, when your shoelace has that plastic cap on the end, that's how Dr. Greger describes a telomere. It, it holds, it keeps the, the weaver, it keeps the thread from fraying. It, yay. It, this is going to seal your tail. Seal the tail end of your story. Sealing the tail end of your story. Okay? You've seen the future already. There's a beautiful fairy tale ending. Isaiah prophesies of it. It's called heaven. And your telomeres have the weave, the thread, the yarn have been sealed, capped. 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 Your, your head is your cap. Um, I get the idea of putting on the mind of Christ, where once before we had a different mind, completely different mind. Capped. Your, your tail ending has been sealed. Okay, um, your story your story is set in stone. You guys, meaning, don't worry. Try not to. Do not worry. Okay, the the ending is already foretold. Um, and once you reach that ending, the world is your oyster. Like. Heaven explodes in a million different directions, meaning you have complete free reign. Okay, that's it. I will see you next week for the collective, but if you want to understand these concepts, please do come back and watch during the week. We're learning about amazing things. Do subscribe to the channel. It helps me a ton, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.